what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. Welcome back to your daily Chelsea news video, or your Chelsea news video for today, where I am going to be talking about two news stories today. One being the update of the brilliant Belgian Dries Mertens. More news reports coming out of Europe saying he is Chelsea's priority target. He is ready for a new chapter, and apparently he's pretty darn set on Chelsea Football Club. And oh yeah, Frank Lampard follows him on Instagram. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe a little bit more relevant than you'd initially thought, but yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah, and also, I want to talk about IFAB's rule change for the resumption of football when it comes back. Because there'll be a condensed amount of games in a short amount of time, with probably very little pre-season or fitness conditioning or preparation and stuff, there's going to be five substitutes. That's right, not three, not four, but yes indeed, five. That's going to seem crazy. Pre-season friendly vibes, but throwing on... I mean, you're if, if you've got a strong bench, suddenly you've got the edge. Do you know what I mean? These teams with bigger squads that can only make free changes when perhaps the game's not going the way they want to, suddenly they can just bring on superstar after superstar after superstar. I'm kind of thinking Man City here. So yeah, I do want to talk about that. Important, relevant, and informative. <laughs> and if you like that kind of content, you should subscribe to Football Therapy. Ding. That's right, I am uploading videos daily, sometimes two, to get you guys through lockdown and quarantine, giving you the news around football media, mainly Chelsea, of course. So please do subscribe, hit that bell notifications icon, and why not like the video to help a brother out? All right, let's get into it. Alors, je commence avec Dries Mertens. Uh, that's right, I'm going to start with Dries, the Belgian, uh, what could I say? Bright Spark. Poor. Anyway, that little guy, you probably know I'm a fan if you watch the channel. He's a good goal scorer. He's a creative little player. He can play in multiple positions, add seniority on the front line. I really like him. And so does Frank Lampard, apparently. Of course, there were reports that he was calling him up a lot on the phone. Quite relentlessly, his approach being seemingly almost aggressive, apparently. It's like when you fancy a girl and you want to get her attention, you constantly contact her. And if you do, you, of course, follow her on Instagram. Just as Frank Lampard follows Dries Mertens on Instagram now. Frank Lampard isn't actually that active on Instagram. Every now and again, he'll like a Chelsea FC post. Generally, he doesn't post much on his own. Maybe that's, you know, smart actions considering he's the manager of a massive club. But generally, he doesn't do much and he doesn't really follow anyone who he hasn't worked with in his professional career. But he follows Dries Mertens. Yeah, the truth is, Lampard has been chirpsing up Dries. <laughs> He really wants him. There are news stories around all football media at the moment saying he is a priority target. He is the priority target as things stand for Chelsea Football Club. Maybe he's the most urgent one because perhaps they extended Giroud's contract just to get some value for him if he is to go in the summer. Obviously, he'll immediately replace Giroud. Lampard's probably spoken to him, sold him the story saying, yeah, but you'll play enough because we know you can play on the wing. And we know you can play down the middle. Obviously, you wouldn't dream of playing Olivier Giroud on the wing, would you? That would be suicide. But Mertens suits the project need and is pretty much, because he's free, it'll be ideal in this currently difficult market. So, it's a positive sign that certain news outlets are saying that Mertens is ready for a new journey himself. He wants a new adventure after seven years at Napoli. And it's looking like he's very keen on Chelsea Football Club. It's looking like Frank Lampard is very keen on Dries Mertens. There is nothing in the way of this deal. He is a free agent. He wants Chelsea. Chelsea want Dries. And obviously, some people think it's important, but Frank Lampard follows him on Instagram now. I do think there's some relevance. If Lampard followed like every footballer and followed like, I don't know, 5,000 people on Instagram, you know, it wouldn't mean absolutely anything. But the fact that he follows like 400 people who he's worked with, remember Chelsea, uh, even City or um, New York or, or broadcasters on BT when he was doing punditry, that's, you know, 400 suddenly not that much at all with people he's worked with. Follow Streets Mertens. Make what you will of that, but it is what it is, man. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated on this story. It's very, very difficult for a deal to be struck at the moment, considering the lockdown conditions. But in the coming weeks, with the resumption of football and more contacts being made, I can expect this deal maybe, probably, 
almost definitely to be done. Obviously, when it doesn't happen, everyone will come back to this video and laugh at me. I welcome that. I'm always being laughed at. <laughs> but in terms of what's going on, I can see it happening. And if you know me and my channel, I want it to happen. So watch this space. I'll keep you guys updated. Swing by the channel daily. So let's talk about the IFAB rule change announced by FIFA and loads of other news outlets. Basically, there's going to be five substitutions instead of the normal allocated three substitutions. Like I said at the top of this video, it's basically so it can protect players in a congested uh, fixture list or whatever, or, you know, what's it called? A fixture list will do. So if there's injured or fatigued players, five of them can come off essentially. This actually is really, really important massive news it's not just fitness well it won't just affect the fitness of the players which i guess is the only reason why ifab's changed the the rules for let me say now a temporary amount of time this isn't a permanent rule change i should have really said that at the top of the video it's basically to accommodate just the congested fixtures so yeah temporary anyway it's not just going to protect them in terms of fitness this could have huge strategic ramifications right say a coach wants to change his system in a way of playing mid game but can only make say two subs for a system change because one sub was an injury and he just had to do a like for like it happens very like to be honest sometimes free players can't completely accommodate a, a real system change if you can make five for example Chelsea could go to wherever they're playing a 4-3-3 to a 3-5-2. Suddenly, you might need two wing backs and an extra striker to play up the top next to another striker. Do you know what I mean? Plus, like, maybe a different style of midfielder or something. Granted, maybe, like, you know, that's pretty extreme. But the, the point being, the options there to completely switch up personnel, not just to help necessarily a strategic plan or formation, but also suddenly the opposition have to be trained and prepared for every single player. Even the slightly fringe players that you didn't think would come on, suddenly it's likely they get to play because 10 minutes at the end, full energy is more valuable than perhaps their skill level in terms of, or in comparison to the superstars. I'm, I hope you get what I'm saying here. I'm rambling a little bit, but what I'm saying is it opens up the game massively in terms of match preparation for the opposition, uh, strategic ability in terms of changing formation, all that kind of stuff, you know? Regardless, it's gonna feel a little bit pre-season friendly vibe when less players are coming on and coming off. Imagine like, uh, I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? The 10 players switching around on the pitch mid-game, or 20 if you think of the opposition. I kind of like it. I probably won't want it permanently, but I like the idea for a little bit. I'd be really, really interested because, you know, like I said, fringe players, you know, Armando Brogia, for example, he might get, more well he's more likely to get a chance to come on near the end because Frank Lampard's got more substitutions if Chelsea are chasing a goal you can bring on Brogia um, and he'll you know the substitutions aren't as valuable so he'll have more of a chance of making an appearance do you see what I'm saying still exciting indeed we'll have to wait till uh, the announcement of the resumption of football no real updates regarding project restart yet obviously the Bundesliga is still starting one of the fixtures has been uh, cancelled due to um, a couple of positive tests um, I can't remember the name of the team but it's not important I think they've just cancelled one fixture and they're still going ahead with the opening day and the opening fixtures in Germany England's gonna have to look at that the Premier League's gonna have to look at that assess it closely and then decide whether they can continue with project restart in terms of how they think they could do it like whether it's the 8th of June or later or <sighs> It's a difficult situation, but I'll of course keep you updated on all the relevant news stories regarding football in general, like the Premier League, but of course Chelsea Football Club as well. So make sure you do swing by Football Therapy whenever you can, whenever you get the moment. And if you've enjoyed the content I've provided for you guys here today, then I'd urge you guys to please like the video. And of course, if you haven't subbed, why not? Give it a sub. You might like it. That's weird, weird thing to say. Anyway, moving swiftly on from that, uh, I'm also doing daily content, of course, on my sister channel, Jan's Yard. I'll put a link in the top of the description where I stream FIFA 20 videos daily and also I'm adding different content on the platform. But really, the interesting thing about that channel is I'm giving the direction to you guys to kind of guide what kind of content you'd want 
So go check it out. Link in the top of the description, like I've just said. And also, why not follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter, man. Right, I'll let, I'll let you guys get on. Enjoy the football. That's sadly not happening at the moment. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, bitch